in these institutional spaces across the globe. The wealth of culture that they have has oftentimes been mined and removed from other communities. Almost all of these objects have been stolen. Almost all of them have certainly been created for context of cultural use and not of colonial imprisonment. They're objects of power that don't belong in these spaces. It's a blueprint, it's a plan, it's a map. The next step for this, once this is covered in this pigment, will be to paint the floor plan of the Anchorage Museum with notes on where our cultural objects are in those spaces. So it almost be a, an escape route or a plan of removal. The idea that these objects wouldn't be here without those spaces is a major myth. We've cared for our culture and our objects and our community's knowledge and for 15,000 plus years, right? Our communities are fighting for many things, including the return of our objects. In some cases, return of our ancestors' bones. The real change isn't going to happen with our communities only being the ones that are responding and leading ways in these conversations. The real change has to come from the communities that are perpetuating it or the communities that are upholding it by remaining complicit in the system, in those institutions. And the work that I've been doing has always been about bringing light to some of these conversations.